Kakua Pau, and greetings once again from the Kiwani Foundation, sponsors of Voices of Truth, uh, another segment coming to you from our neighbor, neighbor island of Molokai. And we're here today with a, a pretty special person uh, up here in the Hawaiian homes, homelands, homestead. And I'm uh, pleased to introduce to you uh, Kili Maui, uh, kind of a legend in his own right. A little departure from what we normally do. We're opening with uh, slack key guitar, as you can see. Let's listen for a second. Mahalo for being with us, and mahalo for allowing us to be with you on your place. And uh, we've had a great uh, chance to kind of visit uh, before our our filming. Uh, just let you know what this series is about. Our objective is to motivate the best possible future for Kanaka Maole, for the Native Hawaiians. And that's why we're going around interviewing people like yourself, different kind, older, younger, different kind of things they do, to encourage uh, people who may be sitting on the couch watching TV, wondering what's it all about. They can take a look at people like you and say, sounds like that fellow knows what it's about for him. And so we're here on Molokai to uh, say mahalo for having us. Let's hear a little something about you. Uh, where you're from, how you come forward, where you are, and where you see us going. Well, I'm, I'm from Molokai Regional, born and raised here all my life. 68 years. Hard life, work hard, uh, going to school, not too much education. Just work and work, and uh, and I graduated from high school. I work at the farm, and uh, mostly I do a lot of fishing. Fishing was my my uh, my top on the line, mm -hmm. and um, and I still fishing. And uh, this is this is my whole my life of uh, Molokai, and. Uh, I come in a lot of magazines, a lot of videos just like this, and I, I, I'm really happy you guys came down and uh, interviewed me. This is about my, I think my third time or second time to view, but I just love them because I, I always can share my manao, how I feel with my life and everybody's life, especially the Hawaiian life today, still struggling. Still working, see what they just doing what is right for the people. Well, that's yeah. the main thing that uh, I think um, the message we we want to get across is the fact that uh, you know there are good things happening in the community. People are doing some good things, and everybody's got a, a part, a piece to do. You know, they got their kuleana. You mentioned uh, you know your main thing in life has been fishing, but yet we're sitting here on uh, what looks like a pretty nice farm, kind of a ranch. I guess if there's cattle out and back. You've got all these fish nets around in front, boats. So it looks like you do several things, and uh, you play, play a little bit of guitar too. Sometimes I can see that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I love I love music, and uh, like I say, when I when I went to school, I had F for music and F for history and F for uh, English. But I was good with the farming, milking cows, and feeding pigs, and uh, all the outdoor life with my life and uh, I don't was a smart person but I was a common sense man common sense uh, uh, you think how you feel inside your heart you, you do what you do what is right and uh, and I love my music and I, I and like I say I played like you when I was eight ten years old and for my my kupuna you know pull the ear and uh, my kupuna always tell me oh lohiko pepe yao my popo Pay attention and listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so today, today I just doing what my kupuna teach me, and I, I, uh, well, I'm here and I, 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 I slacky. I, I, I came first place on uh, last year on the Kihualo. I came second place this year, and uh, this is my life. And I, I, I gonna fish it. I gonna fish pretty soon. Uh, I get something going good with the aqua industry. With my life and uh, with the West Bank and uh, with Kitty Simon and uh, NOAA 
working with young kids, need job. So I, I'm the mayor now for nine years. And well, uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned uh, before we uh, started uh, shooting the video that uh, you have some. It, I guess it's time for you to start. Maybe feel like you, you can share and teach uh, some of the younger people some of the things that you've known that you've grown up with and learned uh, fishing. Uh, some tell a little bit about that. Oh yeah. Uh, now, 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 with my 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 knowledge and my manao and my my spirit in, in, inside me, now I will share with the young kids how to catch fish, how to the tuna, the, uh, whatever I know, whatever I learn, and I share with my music. Tomorrow I get one guy, one hapa coming over here, uh, uh, half Japanese, half Hawaii, come from Laaina, he own a restaurant, he like learn how to play slacky. So I thought, yeah, my best friend, you know that? Shoot. I, 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 I can show him the other tune, but I'm not going to show him my tune because my tune is a special tune. And But if I show the other tune, almost similar like mine, just the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, he come in tomorrow, first thing in the morning, stay two days with me, learn about Kiho Alo Slacky. And uh, like I see, I've been around and I... I, I in videos, in, in books, in, uh, uh, I think I've been around all over the world with Rick Cook and, uh, and uh, 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 Sunshine and, uh, and, and all, all these photographers. Now I get Yamashita over here, uh, Akaku, <laughs> and, uh, and, and when I saw him coming inside, I'm, hey, well, you know, they're going to be a movie star again. Yeah, well, you know, that's the important thing is that uh, we're really happy now. We're doing these uh, videos here on the neighbor islands. And uh, the great thing is that uh, people who haven't been able to see these uh, these segments before are going to be able to see them at home. Uh, we've been doing these uh, Voices of Truth segments since the beginning of the year on, on Oahu. And if you have a computer, you know, you can go up on the Internet and take a look. But now we've got the arrangement. We have serious schedules set up. And uh, it's going to be able, you're going to be able to watch it over here on, uh, on Molokai. So everyone can, can see... Uh, what the different people around the, the islands are doing. So, so now that you're you're teaching, you're going to be teaching some fishing. You're teaching some, uh, some guitar and so forth. But uh, let's drop back a little bit. Uh, we we talked earlier. You mentioned Westpac, and you're talking about what, Western Pacific Fisheries Management Council, huh? Yeah. Uh, so you kind of do something with them. What's that up? Yeah. I, I the first time when I went in uh, on Molokai when Kitty saw me and uh, I. I uh, uh, Kitty and, uh, and the boys and said, eh, Kitty, I think you should come West Bank, bring your manao around here. Another smart man, Kitty. No, no, he don't need to be smart. So I'm, I'm with her about good eight, nine years, you know, and mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. she's a good lady. She's a strict lady, you know. <laughs> she, 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 she's a heavy boss. I'm uh, talking about boss. Uh, she's a boss. And uh, I, 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 and, and I learned a lot of, a lot of good things for Hawaii, uh, 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 making, making something good for the Hawaiian people, uh, like uh, the turtle, a band of net. I'm all in there fighting for this, uh, uh, the turtle and the netting and all kind. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to ban this net, you know, because uh, this is our life, this. This is our fish food, uh, food on the table. Mm -hmm. Turtle is what's our life. It's the people up there when we when, when make everything all jam up and, and we have to follow them. So I, I, I think one day we, we won't get everything that belongs to us, put food on the table. And I, I still working on that. I, I'm, I'm a hustler for, the, for our, our local fishermen. Yeah, so are you folks dealing with uh, controlling uh, fishing access or, or uh, when you can fish around, around Molokai or how is that work? How, the environment. Uh, yeah, how they, like a, like a, uh, uh, they, 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 they just like they control in like uh, see what 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 the West Bank do is, is uh, the environment the uh, the shock fin the long line all this this stuff uh, 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 we like make something we don't like close nothing we like make yeah. something so everybody so can work can work can yeah. can can support but we don't like the people up there come over here. And tell us what to do, mm -hmm. because uh, I don't think so. Well, they gotta go back where they come from, because we know over here, we know what how to survive. We, we get the hardest uh, uh, island. We have to go out there. The fishermen get the hardest work. 
They gotta go out in the rain, the way the storm, mm -hmm. and come in and, and sell the fish to the the, uh, the producer. And it's no easy. Well, so the, probably the reason you were asked to serve on the council for Moloka is because you know the you know the fishing grounds around here. You know what 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 needs to be done, I guess, maybe around here, so that they can uh, you don't whack them too much, but you everybody can uh, share. Yeah, we can we, we can make a conservation law. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the white man put conservation. I guys put malama, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. malama pono, malama ka ia, malama da ia means you take care. Mm -hmm. Malama ka aina, you take care of the land. Yeah, malaka, uh, malama da ocean. All this stuff come together. So we gotta, we gotta make something. Uh, we don't like take them all. We like live for the next generation to come. Otherwise, otherwise it's gonna be like some more. I went Samoa, yeah, struggling over there. And, uh, we don't like, like, American Samoa. We like make our own so we can, for our young generation to see, still get fish mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In, 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 our, in our culture, in our Hawaiian culture life. Mm -hmm. And I'm working for the, the Hawaiian chain, uh, 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 the sanctuary. I, I work in. I, I, I tell them, hey, you can make sanctuary, yeah, mm -hmm. but you leave one one area for the fishermen. Yeah. As only I tell you guys, I, I get my name inside Washington D.C. already, the one bill, and I uh, Clayton he will make that. He made that uh, 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 that, that, that proposal. Clayton he. Uh, Clayton Clayton uh, from Omaha. Uh, no, no, no uh, the president. Oh, Bill Clinton. Yeah, Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah, he yeah. need West Bank from Century for me. No. Mm -hmm. No, no. You leave one easement for our local fishermen, like 20 feet or 30 feet, or 30 miles away from the, the land. Mm -hmm. It's not 50 miles. 50 miles is like from here to Molokai. What are you going to see? Mm -hmm. You got to live better than that. And I'm still working on that. And they never, they never really pass. Uh, uh, they know yet. Mm -hmm. But I know I get my name in there with uh, Senator Inouye. I, uh, that bill, and I, I only want small, <laughs> small male on Molokai, but I, I do, I like to do a lot of good things for the, the people in Hawaii, especially mm -hmm. the fishermen. Mm -hmm. I'm a fisherman, I like to help the fishermen, whatever I can, what is right for our, our, our local fishermen. Yeah, well I noticed that uh, inside your house we had a nice chance to visit inside, and it looked like you were getting up some new poles, and uh, you, you were talking about going over to Kona to pick up a boat or what? Yeah, I'm going over to pick up a, a, a boat because I just I just had one uh, fishing uh, money for buy one uh, aqua boat, mm -hmm. 35 feet, uh, 33 feet right in, and, and I put a spray on top mm -hmm. and uh, and go get uh, train young kids how to catch tuna. Because right now we're losing the aqua boat now. We only get uh, three. We on get, on Molokai? No, in, in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. We get a Neptune, we get a Nise, and I think we get a, the Kulukai. Mm -hmm. That's what we get, I think so. Mm -hmm. Before we had about 30 or more. So we, we're getting less and less. This is the one I like to bring the aqua industry back again. Get some, try to get big money, bring them out and start working that, 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 that culture. That 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 tuna industry, the aqua boat. Well, I wonder how come there's only three boats left. Is it is it because uh, there's fewer fishermen or are there fewer fish? No, this is the the, the boat get too old. Yeah. The main thing costs big money. Yeah. We we'll put them on top and uh, uh, work the boat. You know. Uh, well, there uh, must be there must not be a new generation coming up. Of fishermen to to take over, and uh, maybe that's what's happening. It's like a lot of small businesses where the folks work, you know, and they raise the kids and they work the business, and then when it comes time to uh, hand that business off, uh, sometimes uh, the kids don't want to take it over. So, I mean, if that's what's happening, maybe uh, maybe what you're doing and trying to teach, you know, the a, new, a younger generation how to do the fishing, maybe that's a Part of the answer to increasing the aqua take around here, huh? Well, <laughs> when when I look at today is, is uh, 
when when you saw my my TV uh, the, the video, it, it's satellite computer, and uh, like I say, you know, more technology, more money, but they forget themselves where they came from, mm -hmm. learning about the old life, the old style. Mm -hmm. This is more important too. When the satellite go off, man, you lost your trail. You lost, <laughs> you, you lost your trail, boy. You, you just lost your When your the electricity way. goes out, the lights go out, and if you can't see in the dark, you're in trouble. Huh? You're in trouble, yeah. you see. But today, it, it's a satellite, the computer, all the technology. But inside my mind, I know how to come home. Mm -hmm. Because I get them all in here. The Hawaiians, we, we're pretty sharp, you know. We, we, we come from one hard life, and we learn from one hard life, and, and, and we're always in there. You put me on a computer, I'm lost. But you take away the computer, man, I'm on. I can come home. Mm -hmm. I know where Hawaii, but when a computer goes off, man, it's over. Well, you know, the other thing I know that um, I've talked to fishermen before over the years, and... Uh, that's a rough life. Oh, you yeah. get out there, I mean, that's no, uh, you know, no slow boat to China. You're up there, up and down, up bang and around. Down. Uh, no matter what you get out there, you got to put up with it and take and go back again and keep working. Yeah. It's a hard, and, hard and, life, huh? Yeah. This is, this is the fisherman's life. Yeah. This is the, the life of the fisherman. You know, I got a lot of guys down the wharf, my good friend, Moran, Joe Wright. Uh, they're all fishermen, and they, they get hard life too. They go out there, but they come home with one fish. Mm -hmm. it, it's not easy. Yeah. You know, I said, like I said, fishing is a hard life, but if you love them and you work hard, you're never going to give up because this is, this is your life, you know. But uh, like I said, I get a lot of friends on the wharf, and, I, and I, 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 one day I'll be with them. Uh, down the pier and uh, going out there and catch a tuna and come back and uh, I, I, especially Moran, he's a good mechanic, you know, Moran and uh, Joe Wright about the, uh, about the full-time fishing and uh, Aka Hodges, my boy Aka Hodges, he, 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 he's, a, he's a businessman, he's my good friends, you know, they're all business people and they go outside and catch your uncle or whatever in this market. And this is all... Uh all Molokai people, you know, when you're you're uh, working with the uh, Fisheries Management Council and things, and playing music, uh, you get an opportunity to travel uh, throughout your life. Have you been able to go places? Uh, and oh. some people don't get to go anywhere at all. Oh, with the West Bank. West Bank, music, oh. whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. the West Bank. Well, my, my little kitty, I, I went to Washington, D.C. already, mm -hmm. and I went some more already. So from her, I went uh, to my kitty. We go. We'll go yeah. down, we'll learn something. Mm -hmm. Then I, I went up to Washington, D.C. to see Senator Inouye, and I, oh boy, yeah, that place is cool, boy. But anyway, I, I went, I went, at least in my life, this is the first time I ever traveled in the mainland. Mm -hmm. And the first time I ever traveled in Amer America in Samoa, but I love Hawaii. This is my home. This is the place. This huh? is the place, man. I, 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 I like to come back quick. And I, you go in Samoa, you see coconut tree, you see the water. You know, Hawaii, we get all that, but only the water more flat. Yeah. And I... Well, and you, I told me, you told me one time, you, uh, at least one time, you went to Kauai. You no, no, I never went to Kauai. You never went to Kauai? I, I went to uh, Big Island. Oh, the Big Island. I went Big yeah. Island with uh, Kitty, with uh, staff. Oh, that was at the meetings for... Yeah, uh, yeah. and I went with uh, Oha, Oha, yeah, yeah. with uh, Colette Machado. Mm -hmm. I went over there with uh, Hanane. Apollyon. Yeah, I went over there, and uh, when, when, when we played a uh, uh, part of meeting, uh, we put on our, our, our slacky. Well, I thought you, there was one song from Kauai that you particularly wanted. You know, the Kauai Foundation, which I'm a part of, uh, Butch Keka, who started up, that's a Kauai boy. He's from Kauai. And uh, you mentioned you had one from Kauai that you wanted to play, huh? Yeah. Kauai song? Kauai. Since, since you say Kauai, I, 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 I always play this song. Uh, the song is uh, Wai Ulo. Wai Ulo.
nice piece. Olu olu, nice and smooth. Mama for sharing that with us. You know, I, I think it might be a good time to um, maybe get back to the, the focus of our segment, which is uh, how do you see, uh, we see you working in the community, you're going to be uh, teaching various things, fishing. Uh, you, do you have any, uh, you get together with any of the community efforts that are going on in any respect? Do you participate in those? I know you mentioned going to D.C., political, uh, uh, working on bills that can help us and so forth. But actually on Molokai, you, how, how, do you, how do you work? you pretty much take care of yourself and, and stick with your own thing out here, or what do you do? Well, I'm, I'm, I retired from the state 35 years, working for the state DOE. And uh, from 89 until now, so I've been working a lot uh, on my land, mm -hmm. my cattle, my pigs, and uh, mm -hmm. but I've been working with a lot of people to you know down sharing my manao downtown, play music, right in the heart of Kanakai town, and uh, making people uh, this is Molokai, yeah, and uh, uh, Hotang Molokai, uh, Wave Quest. Molokai show. Uh, I played one time up the ranch for my friend, the coffee, mm -hmm. the coffee people, you know, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm around the area where Just people. kind of sharing the music, huh? Yeah, they're sharing the Manao, and, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, people come from uh, California, all over the world, they, whew, man, they love that music, man, they, they just love. Uh, Hawaiian slacky, kihualo. Oh, yeah. They love that, uh, yeah. the, the mele, how, how, how you play them, and nahe nahe, you smooth, know. Smooth, yeah. Smooth. And uh, as what the kupunas play, they play, they play, nahe nahe, smooth. They don't play like uh, rock and roll, no, man. No. It just lost, it just lost your mind. <laughs> 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 you know, I saw, I saw young kids, they lost their mind today because they gone too fast. Yeah. Too much noise going on. Too much noise. And you, and you know the good part too about Hawaiian eh? music. Well, nahe, nahe, and uh, when the sun going down now, down, see? Eh? Hawaii call it almost poele, ele, getting dark. Then uh, 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 everybody got to go sleep. Everybody got to eat. Even, even, even the pigs, the cows, the animals, they, they all got to, even the plant. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, I see my tutu used to play for the tarot. In a tarot, and uh, in a uh, in a tarot, also, tarot pad, uh, the tarot pad and play music. Yeah. So I thought, Grandma, what are you doing? Shh. Oh, lohi ko pepe yao. Now I remember playing for the plants, play for the animal. They do that because they're just like part of us. We oh, all we're yeah. all human. We yeah. play for the stone, yeah. the pohako. Yeah. This is our man right here. This is the creator of the world. It's not a diamond and a ruby, you know, and a, and a gold. Right here. Right here. This is the wahine. This is the lady, the wahine. This is the kane. That's why the stones say in half. One wahine and one kane. This stone was inside my yard for hundred and hundred and hundred, maybe thousand of years was here. So the history is here. And my wife, is our Amakua the shock? Maybe my brother here he get one too. Maybe the same. Maybe because so. Maybe we all family. Maybe so. If Kiri my family, he's my family too. Hey Kiri, you watch this one now. <laughs> you see your man here or here? Yeah. Hey Kiri, you yeah. see him? Yeah, it's a small world. Huh? Yeah, it's a small world. The Lord will bless us today because of that. The spoon went fall down, and I said, hey, somebody coming. Sure enough. Yeah, look. He was pulling the driveway, huh? Yeah, Yamashita yeah. came. Mohana yeah. came. Now look at that. Yeah. yeah. But this is the mana. A lot of spirit in this storm. They think me are crazy, but I don't think yeah. so. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to have to uh, call my mother and tell her, you know what? The spoon fell and we showed up. And that's the way it goes. Yeah. You, you know, know, they're like the bumblebee. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's how the couple didn't ever believe. Yeah, oh man. But, you know, when, after somebody coming, sure enough, the bumblebee came and somebody came. And here we, we are. And here we are. Yeah. This is our Hawaiian spirit, Yamashira. And this is how one inherited our history, our life. Nobody going to take them away. You know, Uncle Keely want to say mahalo nui. 
we're winding up this segment, and we appreciate your be, taking the time to be with us and share your monot share your music, music. And we'd like to thank all of you folks out there who are watching. Uh, pay attention, watch, continue to watch our Voices of Truth. Look at all the wonderful people we get to come around and, and talk to, and look at the wonderful people you get to see and observe. Pay attention, find your kuleana, get out there and do something. Until our next segment, Voices of Truth for the Kiwani Foundation, Kaiopua 5, and Uncle Kili, my wife here on Moke, Mahalo Nui, and Aloha. Aloha no. Malama Pono. Ho'olohe. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs>